Good day. Today, we are going to have a look at the service applications of SharePoint version 2013. The target audience is SharePoint administrators. First of all, what is service application? Service application technically is nothing but deployed services in SharePoint. To give a real-time example, think of the billing system you see when you are driving and you stop at the toll gate to get the bill. The same billing system can also be found in the grocery store when you buy vegetables. So the same billing service is being shared in different places at a shop or in a toll gate. Similarly, in SharePoint, services can be shared. So this services, when installed or applied to a web application or to a farm level, is called service application. Services that are ready to be used in SharePoint at various levels or scopes like farm or web application is called service application. There are two uh, common scenarios where in SharePoint 2013, you can share the service application between different web applications. The most common scenario is you install all the SharePoint service applications for the entire firm. Sometimes you might want only a specific feature of the service application. For example, Excel calculation services only for the finance department for security reasons. In that case, you can create a separate group consisting only of the second uh, group consisting only of Excel services application and which is configured to run only for the finance web application. Now, how do you see the web applications? You can see the web applications by two ways. One is through central administration and another is through PowerShell. Let's go ahead and see the demo now. To go to this list of web applications, you go to the central admin. Under application management, you click manage service applications. So these are the list of service applications. A few of them are access services, app management service, for the purpose of app configuration, BDC for connecting to external systems or business data connectivity services, Excel services to host the Excel web apps on the SharePoint servers or sites. Machine translation service is a new service app in SharePoint 2013, which is helpful to translate the documents by connecting to a cloud hosting translation service. Next is Manage Metadata Service, Performance Point Service. So you have a huge collection of service applications. The most commonly used or most commonly frequently changed is the Search Service application, which is also a process intensive application. Another example is the User Profile application, which is commonly used. Let's go ahead and see how to view the service application from PowerShell. So you open PowerShell as an administrator and then you add the snap info microsoft.sharepoint.powershell and you give the command get hyphen sp service application. So this lists all the service application in the Sometimes you have to plan for security. You need to decide before creating a service application whether the service application needs a separate managed account or a separate application pool. It is not recommended to create many number of application pools but, uh, or managed accounts. But for search, certain applications like search, it is a good practice to have a separate managed account for crawling. And to give access to the database, this is the command used. You get the you get the connection to the web application, and then you grant access to the identity for the corresponding user and create a managed account. So the way to register managed account is to go to central administration, security, general security, configure managed accounts, and register managed account. Go to security. Configure Managed Accounts under General Security and Register Managed Account. So this is where you create a new Managed Account. Managed Account is nothing but a robo account where you can set the password to ne never expire or expire for a certain time limit.
you need to first contact the domain administrator to get a proper managed account. For this demo, we are not having a real example. So we'll just skip this and move to the next one now. To create a new service application from the central administration, you go to manage service application and you simply provide the name. Sometimes you might have to provide the application pool name most of the times. And in some cases, you might have to provide the database server, for example, access service application. And then the second way to create is through PowerShell using the command new hyphen SP service application. For, and it depends, for example, if it is a Excel, you would use new hyphen SP Excel service application. For search, you would use new hyphen SP search service application. Let's see with an example now. To grant access to a certain web application, note this is the command. You get access to the web application and you use this grant access to process identity for this administrator or the search crawl account to the particular database. Now let's go ahead and see how to create a new service application from the central administration. You go to application management. Click manage service applications. And click new. Let's try to create a simple access service application. Access services is a new service application for SharePoint 2013 new access the database server w15-sp let's just go ahead with windows authentication you can either choose a new application pool or use an existing pool let's create a new application pool for finance So we are using the existing managed account. If you have a new managed account created, you can use that. Then click OK. So this is the new access service application. Suppose you want to delete it, you should just click that and click delete from here. Now let's try to delete the service application from PowerShell. You get the service application by passing the parameter of the name you created. And note down the ID, you copy the ID. And then use the command remove hyphen SP service application hyphen identity and paste the GUID. It will ask you, you can click yes. Now, if you see that service application, new service application is deleted. Now, to add administrators, there are scenarios where you would want to add administrators for the purpose of delegation for a particular service application. In that case, you can click the service application and click administrator and add the administrators. So this is the place where you assign administrators. You can view the properties using these properties and you can manage permissions using this permission link. Now let's just try to add administrators for the purpose of delegation from PowerShell. Suppose you want to delegate the administration to this user contoso.gothf. So the first step in PowerShell would be to create a new SP claims principle using this command and passing the Windows SAM account. The next step is to get the Excel service application. So for our example, we are going to try to demonstrate with the Excel service application. Then we assign the security using this get hyphen SP service application security.
now view the same proper access rule properties the access is revoked let's also have a quick look at the services all these services applications have a parent which is available in the services for that you would go to application management manage services on server so this is a list of all the services available note that this is not equivalent to the windows services you see this is different and for example distributed cache is a new service available in sharepoint 2013 so all the service applications have their parent available here in the services you may start or stop the service by clicking start or stop accordingly based on your requirement. So we saw how to create a new service application from central administration, also using PowerShell for an access service application. Then we also saw how to start or stop a service from central administration. Some of the common actions which you might do is to delegate administrative rights to new administrators. For that, you can do it through central administration using the administrators link or you can use the PowerShell grant or revoke SP object security and we saw a demo of that. Thank you. To quick 